Good morning, ESM. Today is a Tuesday, and now we'll be hearing some news from Elena. Our top stories for this morning. In Fulton, New York, people reported gunshots near two Fulton elementary schools. Three police agencies were dispatched to the schools. Fairgreave Elementary and Bosey's 4th Street School went into a complete lockdown. The dispatchers reported multiple gunshots fired with people yelling near Fairgreave. The gunshots were discovered to be a chemical reaction of pool chemicals causing the sound. Yesterday, Ariana Grande said, yeah, to marriage. The pop star singer got married to Dalton Gomez, a real estate agent. The two had been engaged for a few months now. According to sources, they had a small and informal ceremony. The room was full of love. Both families couldn't be happier, the source told reporters. Grande has been engaged to NSL star Pete Davidson in the past, but this is her first marriage. Yesterday, two detention center deputies were fired as investigators examined the January death of a black inmate, Jamal Sutherland, who had mental health issues. Body camera footage from the incident of the El Canyon Detention Center in Charleston shows deputies used a stun gun on Sutherland, Sutherland and kneeling on his back before he stopped moving. An hour later, the 31-year-old whose family said suffered from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder was pronounced dead. Charleston County Sheriff Kristen Garziano announced detention sergeant Lindsay Fickett and detention deputy Brian Howell were fired as part of the international investigation. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention juniors, it is time to make your appointment to have your senior picture taken for next year's yearbook. Senior pictures need to be taken during the summer and they need to follow the yearbook's guidelines to be accepted. You can find all the information on senior pictures at our website, esmyearbook.org. Talk to your parents or guardians about making your appointment now. Free senior picture sessions are available in the auditorium by appointment only in June and July. A letter and email was also sent home. If you have any questions, contact us at yearbook at esmschools.org. Support the class of 2024 with their DeBellos fundraiser Wednesday, May 19th through Sunday, May 23rd. 20% of your check will be donated to the class. In order to participate, you must order online during their website, order.debellas.com, and use the promo code ESM20. Now on to some weather. everyone today we'll have a high in the low 80s the rest of the week will also have mid 80s with a chance of thunderstorms nearing the end of the week I'm Emily with the weather The girls track team stayed undefeated with a close win against Central Square last night. The 400 relay team consisting of Elena Vespi, Becca Sturgeon, Ariana Brennan, and Lilia Pena won the meet for the girls. Riley King won all of her events as well, which were the 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, and the 4x1 relay. The boys track team also stayed undefeated with a 4 point win over Central Square. The boys clinched their win with the 4x4 also, led by Aiden Hurt, Daniel Tovar, Sol Schofield, and Bennett Ferrari. The softball team won 13-8 against West Hill on their teacher appreciation night. The baseball team lost. The girls golf team had games yesterday. The orange team won and the blue team had their first loss of the season. In upcoming games, the boys tennis team plays against JD at 4.30. The wrestling team plays Central Square and JD. The girls lacrosse team plays at JD at 6. And the boys lacrosse team plays at home against JD at 7. And the game is a whiteout, so come support. And I'm John, Lee Sports. Luna and I and everyone at the morning show, have a great day.